Hi, my name is AJ and welcome back to yet another episode of Drone Chat. Today we're talking all about Wakira's drone, the Vitus. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, is it a DJI Mavic uh, killer? Is it a better alternative, a cheaper alternative? Um, that's what we're going to talk about, so let's roll the intro and get right into the video. Alright, so right off the bat, what is this drone? Um, it is Wakira's answer, um, Wakira, another drone manufacturer. It's their answer, it's their competitor to the DJI Mavic, and it brings a lot to the table. So let's take a quick look at the specs um, and see how they stack up with the Mavic. So um, first off, Mavic, you know, 4K, it's using GLONASS satellites, it's using a 3-axis gimbal, um, I believe you're getting around 25 minutes of flight time. So you also have like the follow me modes and the smart features. Looking at Wakira's Vitus, um, and correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but um, the specifications. So again, the key feature is it has a foldable design. The arms fold in, um, like the Mavic. Um, three directions of obstacle avoidance, also like the Mavic. And in this way, it actually beats out the Mavic, with the Mavic only having obstacle avoidance in the front. Um, here you have obstacle avoidance on both uh, the left, the right, and the front. In my opinion, um, the left and the right are almost more important to have obstacle avoidance on because when I'm flying forward and the camera's forward, I can see if I'm going to hit something. Um, what's much more difficult is when you're flying sideways or you're drifting into something and you don't know what's on your right because, um, you know, you're looking forward. So that's a really nice move by Wakira. As ter in terms of the effectiveness of that, not so sure, time will tell. From reviews I've read, from videos I've watched, it doesn't seem like it's as effective as DJI's um, obstacle avoidance, and it doesn't seem like it's as robust, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, moving on, you still get the 4K video like the Mavic, um, HD photos, 3-axis gimbal, 25 minutes of flight time, um, and a... Uh, in, in, I mean, in general, a very similar compact design and looking drone. It almost has Inspire uh, battery style, Mavic folding style. Um, it's like a weird mix of a lot of DJI products in my, you know, that's the way I look at it and see it. Um, all right, so now that we see the specs, how they stack up, let's take a look at how Wakira portrays the video or how they portray their drone. So I'm going to roll a video and you guys can take a look at um, you know, how Wakira is explaining uh, all this drone and how they're trying to sell it. Bringing new perspectives to a journey? Maybe it's a good idea. Today, we are going to introduce you to a new fellow called Vitus. It's actually the most advanced drone for aerial photography. The foldable design makes Vitus easy to carry so you can easily capture beautiful moments from different angles wherever you are. Vitus is equipped with elaborately manufactured brushless motors which help to ensure powerful flight performance. The high-capacity intelligent batteries provide Vitus with 25 minutes of flight endurance, generating unrivaled flight experience. With highly precise sensors, the smart obstacle avoidance system on Vitus will be able to detect obstacles from the front, the left, and the right. Vitus will then immediately slow down and ensure flight safety. Okay, so as I think you can see in the video, they're definitely going after that same niche market that DJI seems to have really grabbed and hold of with the Mavic and also the Spark, kind of the hobby, the hobbyist, maybe the person, this is the first time drone, um, something that is very easy to pick up for somebody who doesn't know drones, 
but also has the specs to back it up. So somebody who um, knows drones, likes drones, has had drones in the past, um, will uh, be interested in it as well. Um, let's talk price point. DJI's Mavic, um, the Mavic Professional, um, there's now Mavic Professional Platinum, I believe, but the Professional is about $1,200, um, 1000 or maybe it's $1,000 for the original 1200 for the new Platinum. This comes in at $799. So um, at $800, it's definitely cheaper um, and definitely looks like you get a lot of bang for the buck. And I think that in that sense, it is a pretty clear winner, and in another sense, not so much. So, yeah, on paper, um, cheaper, various comparable specs, um, I think this is where the Mavic kind of wins it out. Um, from what I can tell, the Mavic's quality is much better. I've had lots of hands-on experience with DJI Mavics, not actually with the Wakira Vitus, but from videos. Build quality doesn't look quite up to par, this, the, the build of the plastics seems to be a lower quality. Um, the size looks to be a little bit bigger, a little bit clunkier, the whole way that everything folds together. It just doesn't seem as robustly engineered. It's, you know, much, much more simple, which is not necessarily bad, but just curious as to how it holds up. Um, the Mavic has proven to be pretty strong, pretty robust. Um, I've flown, um, my, a couple of my friends have Mavics and they've held up really well, uh, to normal wear and tear. Um, gonna see how the, these arms hold up and how everything stays together. In terms of image quality, I think this is where the Mavic just ekes out the uh, Wakira counterpart. Um, DJI is known for their their cameras. They're known for um, the image quality that they're able to produce out of really small aerial uh, packages, and the Mavic doesn't disappoint. The Wakira Vitus definitely is not, you know, uh, it, it's nothing to laugh at, but it's in my opinion, from the videos, from the pictures that I've seen, it doesn't quite stack up to DJI's um, product. And so the other area where the DJI still ekes out the map, the pardon me, the Walker Vitus um, is in the software side of things, in how they execute the follow me features. DJI just wins. Um, I've seen videos of the uh, Wakira Vitus just not really tracking, which seems to be a theme with a lot of drones that have come onto the space that have follow me functions and tracking functions. They just don't really work that well, as well as the actual implementation of the uh, uh, obstacle avoidance. From the reviews I've seen, it seems like it's it's definitely not something that you want to put all of your trust in and it doesn't work all the time, whereas I feel very confident um, myself have having tested the Mavic in its ability to stop and not hit things um, when it gets <laughs> close to them. So those are just my thoughts. At the end of the day, I think if you are new to uh, you know the drone hobby, either option is you're gonna make you very happy. Both look like very comparable um, pieces of equipment. In my opinion, for somebody who wants the quality, um, who wants the extra image quality, maybe you've had another drone before, you're looking for a step up, I would say go with the DJI. You're gonna have better image quality, better build quality in my opinion, and just better software. If you're new to um, drones or you're just looking to save some money, I mean, that's some serious uh, you know, uh, cash that you can save by going with the Wakira counterpart. Those are just my thoughts. Please let me know what you think and I will see you guys next time. Bye.